Okay, well, this is a SketchUp building tutorial how to make a contemporary style commercial building. Then this is a basic shape with plane. We can you can make it with a rotated rectangle or rectangle. For the dimension, it's around 23 and 23 meter approximately. Then we can set the column with the rotated rectangle. We can click from this position. Then we can set the um, any column the dimension any column dimension okay, it's just for example then you can uh, push it up with uh, any height then we can make group okay, then we can uh, move and duplicate it or we can make a component first create then we can move and press control to duplicate then we can set the distance um, around six meter approximately then you can type x3 okay then it is um, the first grid column then you can select move press control and then you can um direct direct to the another position around six meter also then we can type x3 um, okay well this is about the um basic structural then we can select a rectangle okay then we can offset it inside this one and delete for the center plane on this uh, object then we can move it to the bottom around one meter it's just approximately then we can uh, move it to this position approximately then we can uh, move it up can we can move it up around um, four meter okay, well okay, now we can get the floor to the bottom beam um, around four meter clean then we can um, make the floor we can make make it to be a floor <clears throat> okay then we can make the another um, beam we can make the another beam path we can make group then we can move it to the another position we can move it to this position and move it to this position then we can uh, rotate it and press to uh, control to duplicate it okay then we can select move and place to this position and we can um, connect with the with the another junction as, as proper as possible anyway Okay, well we can uh, make the assumption that this is about the stair area well this is about the stair area and we can make the slab from here we can make the slab from here and make the slab from here okay then we can delete some unnecessary line over there then we can push it down around 150 millimeter triple click and make group okay well now we can uh, the structural to be one group anyway okay, we can delete some unnecessary object Sorry. okay well now we can right click and make group okay then we can select move and duplicate it to the proper position for example just like that okay and if you if you feel that this column if you feel that this column is too small, you can um, just uh, enlarge it just a little bit. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, then we can um, move it down. We can move it down, and we can only we can only. Um, push this column this rooftop column 
and we can right click and make unique then we can push it up uh, we can push it up around 3.5 meter okay well now we can select a wall we can uh, make the wall from this position and offset it inside 150 millimeter and push it down and triple click make group and we can make the canopy small canopy over there then we can push it up around uh, 200 millimeter well now we can make the another uh, element we can make the opening right there okay we can make the um, any size of the opening then this is about the small step okay this is about the small step of it, of it. okay and this is about the small step Okay, make group then we can make the another element we can make the um, any size and just a simple window a uh, simple door okay we can make it a simple door okay. with uh, door with frame or I mean it was um, steel door steel door on the rooftop okay then we can make the canopy another canopy right there okay and canopy right there okay well now we can make the another element can we can make the wall element for a barrier in this position okay then we can offset it inside round 100 50 millimeter okay well then push it up around 100 uh, 1200 millimeter okay well now we can make it to be a uh, concrete material for example okay this one then we can make the um, another frame we can make the facade frame it's just for ex uh, example and very schematic it's it's very basic and schematic uh, facade frame so you can improve by yourself by um, study with uh, with yourself or you, you can discuss with your uh, with your own um, facade engineer or architect professional architect to get more details of it okay, this is about the facade uh, design then it's just vertical frame I mean it's vertical frame and this is the horizontal frame okay we can make component create then you can select move press control and Move to this position and then we can type um, for slash and enter okay i mean it was um, complete then you can um, decrease the extension of this frame then you can um, select this frame you can select this frame you can select this frame and make group okay then you can duplicate this frame move press control and duplicate it then you can um, rotate it uh, 90 degrees then you can place to the appropriate position on the appropriate side okay well then you can um, add more glasses right there with any thickness or with appropriate thickness then you can select the glass material and place this glass material then you can also put this glass here okay then you can assign with the same material also okay then you can um, combine this one then um, for this back side you can add more walls you can add more walls with any thickness or with a standard thickness in your country as uh, normal as possible ok 
okay well now you can um, set the glassing right there okay, triple click right click and make group then you can set the glassing also in here then you can um, set the glassing okay then you can set the glassing also right there then you can um, add more extension of the wall to the bottom and this one also you can add this extension okay well uh, you can enlarge your um, landscape area then you can set the okay you can set the hallway this is about the hallway on your front commercial building Okay, this is about the hallway then you can um, offset it you can offset right there then you can offset right there this is uh, just for example you can um, improve by yourself anyway okay, okay you can make group then you can set the um, another another canopy element i mean it was a um, concrete canopy I mean it was a concrete concrete canopy in your in your hallway okay I will I will make the unique canopy over there Double click my group and you can Okay, we can get the canopy of it then um, we can also set the landscape um, material with this um, material then now we can make the another uh, element we can make the another element uh, with using a rectangle we can push it to the front And then we can set the line right there and then we can set the line then we can uh, set the curve okay. then we can offset it until this position okay, well you can uh, push it to the limit for um, the another elements okay, then we can push it up Okay, then uh, we can set the color or we can set the wood for um, wood material or surface I mean that you can uh, right click and make component create then you can select a move press control duplicate then we can set the distance uh, approximately just like this then we can type x30 for example then uh, okay you can get the result of it of the arrangement of it okay now you can uh, select all this object or component you can select my group then you can select a move press control then you can uh, rotate it okay then you can select move okay then you can rotate uh, move it to the proper position so you can get the connection uh, I mean it was uh, the connection I mean it was the vertical or horizon and horizontal connection of it in this area uh, I mean it was just seems like um, iron and many more I mean it was a, a connection some some connection in this area okay Okay, so you can make the another um, bracing or strengthen bracing to strengthen the materials so move press control uh, you can make component first create then you can select a move press control then you can press to this position then you can type uh, 20 slash okay, this is uh, about the connection so you can add more connection in here
okay, you can select all uh, make group then you can select a move press control and then you can uh, rotate 90 degree then you can move to this position Okay, well, uh, maybe you can uh, move it. Push, push. You can push this um, slab till this till this position. Then you can select a curvy. Okay, select like a curvy, and then you can also push this one to this position. Well, now you can uh, sl uh, select a mirror and press control and just mirror it. Then you can select a move to the another position. Okay, uh, maybe we can make the some exploration of it. Okay, well you can select a move to place this to this position. Okay, then you can um, set the distance for every single canopy just like this okay then you can select all and make unique then you can move until this position or this position okay and you can do this similar uh, you can do the same method to this another side of this building okay well I mean uh, it was almost done for this building okay then now you can make the the more thickness in this position then you can um, offset it you can offset it inside uh, approximately just like that then you can select move okay well you can select this one and then you can uh, delete some unnecessary line over there okay well you can select this line okay you can select this line and then you can select the um, skin contour with a curve fill off then you can okay okay then you can select a wood material you can select a wood material okay then you can select a black color okay you can select a black color of it Okay, thanks for watching. I hope it will be a lot of benefit to all of you and just wait for my next tutorial. Thank you.